It's not always that you find an office such as this one in rural parts of the country, but here at Palmalmal, the district at Kota of Pomio, there is a national identification office. It's a move taken by the district's administration to bring the service to its people, rather than the people going out to look for it. The nearest NID office is in Kokopo, and it is a six-hour boat journey from Palmalmal. We have these Pomio people complaining. They only get a simple here now, local, all go local, local, local. No time to register him or clans belong all. All families belong all. But then only go join him line, na line A is how we get him whole day, all man by sun up no line. Since 2015, the NID registration has been rolled out in all major towns and cities in the country. The National Planning Department says it may take about six years before the NID is rolled out to all the population, and by year 2021, all Papua New Guineans should be registered. This year, government is providing 20 million to start rolling up by, uh, by system, setting up all offices in all over the province. The National Planning Department hopes the NID program will improve equal service delivery, public machinery, and the election process. But since the project began, pressure has been mounting from people who are still waiting to get registered. Like Pomio District, it is now part of the national government's call to decentralize registration to the district level, something that was once only done in Port Moresby. In the provinces, all the cards must come back like Moresby. No issue, no card. No need to slam complicated system, no wasting big blood time. I'm not displaying worry, blow me blind, look at all people, blow me blind, or listen up, no line. Only to find themselves to be told to come or the next following day. Civil society organizations such as the Transparency International, on the other hand, have been questioning how the project has been funded, where so far about 230 million kina has been used since the rollout began. Subsequently, in January 2016, it became clear that it was not possible to get all the NID cards issued before the start of the 2017 general elections. Edwin Fidelis, National MTV News, Kokopo.